Well, after going through addition, let us see how do we carry out the subtraction of rational numbers. It's actually pretty easy. Let's say you have two rational numbers which are in the form a upon b and c upon t. Okay? And you have to subtract c upon d from a upon b. Okay? So the way you do it is you just a upon b minus c upon t. Right? Or you can also rewrite this as a upon d b plus minus c upon d. I mean you've done quite a few of them in terms of the addition function. You can add the fraction with the numerator changed to the negative sign to this. And effectively there's really not, not much of a difference. Why? Because the simple reason that minus c upon d can be easily found out. Minus c upon d is basically known as the additive inverse of c upon d. Right? So let us see some practical questions on this. Right? So let's say, suppose you were told to subtract 3 upon 4 from 7 upon 4. Now in this case, basically if you notice, you have to subtract, so you write this as 7 upon 4 minus 3 upon 4. Now if you notice, the denominators in both these cases is same. So we have same denominator. Now when the denominators are same, it's actually not a big issue. So the subtraction works fairly easily, right? What you do is, you take the denominator as common, just like you used to do in case of addition, okay? And then you subtract, take the difference of the two numerators, 7 minus 3, right? So 7 minus 3 gives you 4 divided by 4, which we know is equal to 1. So in case there's a common denominator, subtraction is fairly easy. It doesn't mean that the subtraction is difficult if the denominators are not common. It's just that maybe some more neat procedures needs to be followed. So let us see. Let's say suppose you had to subtract 3 upon 4, okay, minus 1 upon 7, right? Now just like I told you, this minus sign can be converted into plus, right? By writing 3 upon 4 plus the additive inverse of 1 upon 7, which is minus 1 upon 7 right now once you have this what do you do you take the, the LCM of these two numbers which is 4 and 7 right the LCM is 28 okay now 4 goes into 28 7 times so 7 into 3 right will give you 21 plus 7 goes into 28 4 times 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 right now 21 plus minus 4 is 17 divided by 28 and hence you've been able to do the subtraction right by adding the additive inverse of a fraction right let's take one more example suppose you have 1 upon 9 minus 2 upon 3 Okay, now this can be written as what? 1 upon 9 plus minus 2 upon 3. Take the LCM of 9 and 3, you will get 9. 9 goes into 9 how many times? 1. So 1 into 1 is 1 plus 9 
when divided by 3 gives you 3, 3 when multiplied by minus 2 gives you minus 6. So this gives you minus 5 upon 9. Right? So that's how basically you do the subtraction of rational numbers.